details now on the cold case death of a champion swimmer. We now know the Kane County Coroner's Office has exhumed Anna Schneider's body for further examination. It comes 11 years after her death. WGN's Rob Sneed spoke exclusively with the family and joins us now. Yeah, tonight her family says all they want is closure. Now they said that they uh, she drowned in her pool, but Anna could swim, so none of that made any sense to her family. Again, tonight they just want answers. This is the face of a young woman who had so much life ahead. 19 year old Anna Schneider drowned in her family pool July 4th, 2009 at her Sleepy Hollow home. She was one beautiful child. I mean, I, I, I used to swim with her all the time when she was a baby. She loved the water, loved swimming. Uh -huh. Like I said, a very strong competitive swimmer. She had, you know, trophies uh, in this huge trophy case, probably hundreds of trophies from, you know, competitive swimming. There's just no way you can drown a fish. Her death makes no sense to her uncle Chuck Franz. He hopes the Kane County Coroner's office will find the answers they so desperately want. It makes me very, very excited the fact that maybe we can get some closure as a family. I mean, nothing's going to bring Anna back. Rob Russell, the Kane County Coroner, was not the coroner at the time of her death. But looking over the evidence, he felt there are so many holes in this case. The statements that were made there were inconsistent with the science. So we, we are looking into uh, possible explanations for that. He would not go into details because this is all still under investigation, but he says he's hopeful with the information they've uncovered, the truth will finally come out. And that corner wanted to be very clear. His office isn't looking into the criminal side of this case. He says his investigators are only looking into how this young woman died. Of course, we're going to stay on top of this and bring the latest to our viewers with this developing story. Thank All right, Rob, thank you.